America is in trouble. I was out and about today and I noticed that things are starting to slow down. Are you familiar with the repo operation? The Fed has bought back a trillion dollars worth of debt, undoing eight months of stimulus. We're about to enter into a different phase. And once again, because uh, I bought another car today and I was talking to him and he said that business has clearly slowed down. A uh, guy, he, was, he did like 50 cars. And he said June wasn't as good as May and it's starting to slow down because the stimulus money has been, has stimulated the economy but it's starting to go away. And these stimulus ballers, the stimmy ballers, they're starting to have a moment of reckoning because essentially, you know, I, I've had a lot of people push back on me when I say these folks are lazy. All right, let me go ahead and give you some perspective on that. 2016, I offered free business courses that if you were to actually do the course, you would make money. 95% of the people who signed up for the course didn't do the course. You know why? Because they're lazy. And, you know, all this other stuff. And I had someone to come and it's like, when I'm your age, I'm going to be making more money than you. Good luck with that, player. Good luck with that. Because currently, you have a job. And if you want to make this kind of money, you need to have a business. Just saying. And, you know, it's, it's kind of funny because let's talk about business owner mindset. I'm going to give you an idea of who I used to be and who I am now. Now, I have a situation, because essentially, when you become a business owner, you learn how to dance between the raindrops. And I had um, a car on hire car, and it was a Camry, and the girl rented the Camry. And the Camry was wrecked, and the Camry had some other issues. You know what I did? I went ahead and approved her and switched her to another car. I had to lower the price of the other car but instead of, because essentially she was a week long rental. Those are really good in the hire car world. When you get someone who rents by the week, that's usually a very, really good sign. And that's usually gonna turn into a long-term rental. And she got an excellent car, oil change, new tires, and it's been serviced. So it's gonna be good to go. And the old me would have been like, uh, sorry. You know, because essentially you learn how to dance between the raindrops. And this is what comes up with people who have real business experience. I will continue to say that most of these YouTubers are giving you garbage and bubblegum. They're giving you garbage. They're not giving you the real. They're not telling you the real numbers. They're not giving you the real stuff. They're just trying to get you to watch their videos so they can make this YouTube money. That's all they're trying to do. They're not actually trying to help you. And I, a lot of you are hip to the game. And there's some of you who are not hip to the game. Every day, I frequently get someone on my other channel who comments like, yeah, I stopped watching Graham Stephan because, you know, because he's an entertainer. Graham Stephan is not a financial advisor. He's a YouTube entertainer. And a lot of people are starting to wake up to that. And a lot of people are starting to slowly wake up to the reality because the stimulus ballers have run out of money. The stimmy ballers have run out of money. And it's going to be very interesting. August, we are five weeks away from September. And why is that important? September Stimulus money ends. Unemployment ends. Eviction moratoriums end. I don't know if they're going to end the forbearance. I don't know what's going on with the forbearance. But the day of reckoning is coming. A day of reckoning because, like, you know, someone put in there, these folks aren't lazy. It was, uh, you know, if I can make more money sitting at home doing nothing. See, that, 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 that's lazy. As someone who 
got a lot of money, who could have sat down and did nothing. That is just not in my personality to sit around and do nothing. I, I was retired for three months and I couldn't take it no more. So these folks are lazy. Once again, they are lazy. This is why 25 states have cut unemployment, the federal subsidy, and there are lawsuits because luxuries once tasted become necessities. See, here's the thing that has happened, and this is why America's in trouble. We've had people who were getting this stimulus money, this unemployment money, and not having to pay rent, not having to pay their mortgage, not having to pay their car note, and the repo man stopped repoing. So these people entered into a phase, and this is something that, like in the military, they only let you take so much leave. And they, the reason they say that is after so much leave, you lose your military bearing. These folks have lost their military bearing. They have been on unemployment, stimulus money, forbearance, eviction protection, the repo not repoing the car, repo in their car for almost for a year. That's a long time not to be productive. That's a really, really long time. And the day of the stimulus, stimulus baller is about to come to it's about it's ended. It's ended. I was talking to this guy, and you know, he, he's you know. Uh, I almost bought two cars for Toro, but Toro isn't doing that well for me right now. It just isn't. And, you know, the Mercedes is starting to go out more. I think it's showing up in the Toro algorithm. But I thought, if I buy these two cars, it's going to be $50,000. Um, essentially, what I'm going to do, I probably may get one or two more cars this month. And then I'm going to chill in August. And, you know, because essentially um, some things have happened where I am starting to understand this business better. I still have a long way to go. I still have a lot to learn. But I've, I have a great understanding of this business. And today I was talking to an Uber driver. And this is something else that I did not know. Avis and Hertz has a rental car program for Uber drivers that's two fifty seven per week, including the insurance. Now, who who told you that if I had my own commercial insurance, I can rent cars two fifty a week? They would consist. I would run out of cars. I would run one or two ads, and I would literally run out of cars. And he said he's had he's been renting this car from Avis for one year he's paid them twelve thousand dollars for this rental car for one year see this is where we're entering into a new economy where a lot of people going back to my ownership chronicles um we're gonna have uber drivers we're gonna have lyft drivers who will be renting cars this is this is going to come on because essentially what is happening is because I, I had a really good conversation because he was a young man and I was mentoring him and you know I just said stick with what you want to do the beginning's going to be rough just stick with it stick with it and you know you know he was encouraged because here's the thing once again I will continue my rant my raves on the fake ass youtubers who are just putting up content for YouTube algorithm to make money and they don't give a damn about you. They don't care if you're successful. They don't care if you win. I can personally go on record saying that I actually took an L. I took a hit trying to help people out by giving out free courses for six months. That's how much I wanted you to be successful. But once again, Aunt Inez is in my ear. If I cannot want you to be more successful than you want to be successful. I can want all day long for you to do well, to be happy, to start a business. But until you want that, I'm just wasting my time. I'm just wasting my time. So one of the things that I want you guys to understand 
we're in a new economy. We're in a new, new, new economy. And for those who want to hustle, for those who want to actually put in work, opportunity is literally everywhere. But for the folks who become addicted to government stimulus, luxuries once tasted become necessities. You got people who have lost the ability to fend for themselves. I'm serious. 12 months, 18 months of stimulus? You don't have to be responsible. You don't have to pay your mortgage. You don't have to pay your rent. You don't have to pay your car note. Everybody working with you? And you at home playing video games, smoking weed, having sex versus going to your job? And right now, there is uh, employers are struggling to get people to come to work in the fast food industry. And once again, there's a McDonald's in Sandy Springs. They just remodeled it. And they had this big old counter, right? They had like four cash registers on it. Now, they've moved everything around. And they only have like, they've got these two kiosks where you go to the kiosk, you put your order in, and then someone brings you your food. In the future, your food is gonna slide out of a tray. It's gonna be a shoot, and it's gonna be like, get food here, you're gonna put your order in, your food's gonna come out, and the only thing that's gonna be in McDonald's, Burger King, Arby's, Wendy's, are cooks. Because they're gonna get rid of all the other staff. They're just gonna have necessary people to prepare the food, and they're just gonna cook, they're gonna put your food together, put it on the tray, and slide it out to you. You will not, in the future, when you go to a fast food restaurant, you will not see a human at a cash register. You will not see a, because essentially all these lazy mofos who don't want to go to work, and we're going to talk about qualifying yourself. Like, working in a fast food restaurant or working in any restaurant is not rocket science, okay? And have you qualified yourself for the money you want? See, this is where some of you and I have a big disagreement. I think these folks are lazy. Now, I ain't talking about everybody. I'm talking about a group of people who would rather sit home, collect a government check versus going to work. That's lazy to me. And preparing yourself. I said this in the previous video. There are so many STEM jobs that are unfulfilled because they don't have qualified applicants. There are 100 150, 200, and 300 thousand dollar a year jobs out there that they cannot fill because people are not qualified. So, whose job is it to qualify for this 300 thousand dollar job? It's your job. That's on you. It isn't the employer's job to dumb it down to make it simple. And I'm going to tell you, anyone. I have a friend who used to, who works in the bank in banking. And she used to work for SunTrust. And she took this job. She was doing like 120, 130. She took this job. She was making 250. Her life changed. And what I mean by, because anyone, they paying you $250,000 a year, you cannot be chilling. She's like started work. She went from working five days a week to working seven days a week. She was working so much, her husband was complaining. And then one day she said, Glendon, I had to have a talk with him. I said, you see this $500,000 house? Did we get this on your salary or did we get this on my salary? She had to sit him down and give him the riot act. She had to talk to him like he was a little boy. And she's like, ever since we had that chat, he doesn't complain anymore. I mean, she works seven days a week. She used to be able to take time off and have lunch and all this other stuff. Her life has completely changed. And once again, when you start making $200,000, $250,000, $300,000, $400,000, you're not going to have one of these Instagram lifestyles where you're going to be chilling all the time unless you're the business owner. You're the business owner. You hire people. You put systems and processes into place. Yeah, you can, you can do that. But if you're an employee making that kind of money, 
they gonna get their money out of you. They gonna get their money out of you. They paying you 250, that means you need to be doing $750,000 worth of work per year. They gonna get their money out of you or they gonna get rid of you. So it is up to you to become qualified for the position that you want to give you the money that you want. Like a lot of these YouTubers, they're blowing smoke up your booty. They're blowing smoke up your booty. Like especially these YouTubers who do the side hustle thing. The side hustle thing is it's just, it's fantasy. It's just fantasy that you're gonna get a side hustle that's gonna make you like 5,000 bucks a month and you don't, you don't have to do that much. You, you can do little or nothing at all. That ain't real, bruh. That ain't real. So America is in trouble. And like, the United States is in trouble. Because when I saw that the Fed had bought back a trillion dollars worth of debt in the repo process, repo facility, I was like, good Lord. They took back a lot of that stimulus money. They took back eight months of stimulus in just a few weeks. So, once again, I think that Christmas is going to be very, very interesting. If you're a business owner, you're a hardworking person, you're out here stimulating your own economy, Christmas is gonna be great for you. Christmas is gonna be amazing for you. If you one of these do nothing, lazy people sitting at home getting collecting a check and you lost your military bearing, Christmas is gonna be jacked for you. And then Christmas is gonna be here before you know it. Christmas will be here before you know it. And one of the things that you guys have got to understand and you've got to appreciate is the power of you actually taking action. Because so many of you don't wanna take action. So many of you are out here playing around. So many of you out here wasting time so many of you are out here playing games and looking for the cheat code to success. The cheat code. Like Rich Wayne, everyone's like, you know, Rich Wayne, you know, he's young and he know all these, like that stuff don't work. I actually, once again, I let a friend of mine who is a commercial lender watch Rick Wayne. He said, that ain't gonna work. There ain't no way I or anyone I know in my business would approve a loan for this clown. Age corporation or not, he said, they ain't gonna work. He's like, we're gonna need to see some tax documents. We're gonna need to see some real bank accounts. But once again, people are looking for the cheat code because essentially one of the things, and this is something I learned with my car rental business. One of the reasons that I put that BMW up there for $125 a day was to keep it out the hands of the animals. Because, you know, my Aunt Inez is up in my ear. You cannot give people who ain't never had nothing access. You, you just can't. You know, the real estate prices in Sandy Springs are sky high. And there's a reason they're high, to keep the animals out. This is something I saw on Next Door today. That Buckhead has become the ghetto. That many people, I saw it, it's like, it's sad that crime and stuff that's going in Buckhead, that we no longer can allow our senior management to stay in Buckhead hotels. I'm gonna put that up in the community section. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep it a buck. I was looking for a penthouse and they've called me like four or five times. And I don't want to be in that building because there's a whole bunch of young black men smoking weed. When I was on the tour, there was some dudes outside in the parking lot smoking weed. About 400 feet from the building. They live in that building. I'm like, I don't want to be around this. Uh, I don't smoke weed. I don't like the smell of weed. And I'm like, like I said, um, that penthouse thing, cause you know, next month, I really, really gotta get on that and be looking. But 
I'm not going to be in an environment where I'm going to be around the animals. And, you know, you can call me an elitist for saying that. But the people who jacked up my X5 were animals. They were not humans. They were animals. And I'm seeing a lot of that behavior out there in Buckhead. And once again, uh, I've talked to several people. And the, the word is that Buckhead ain't what it used to be. You know what's funny? I looked at that building when I was up for a reality show. Because, you know, I'll talk about that. At one moment, I thought I was going to have me a reality show, right? I thought I was going to be on TV and be getting these TV checks. Didn't happen. But I went and looked at a penthouse in this same building. It was totally different. The environment was totally different. The atmosphere was totally different. And it was very, very upscale. And if I do move into this penthouse, because now I'm having some second thoughts about it, but if I do move into this penthouse, I am not going to be around a bunch of young weed smoking people. I, it's just not. I'm just not. So the reality is I got to re-examine that. I got to look at that a little different because um, one of the things that I want to be in is upscale luxury I want to be in a nice place. And if I can't find that one, I will just get me a house. Just get me another house. So we will see how that goes because houses are kind of flying in my neighborhood. Uh, recently, someone just put a house on the market and it sold very quickly compared to everything else. But you got to qualify yourself for the money. Um, and this is something that so many people miss. And this is something that a lot of people are not aware of. This is something that many people just don't seem to understand. This is something that a lot of people are not understanding on a deeper level. They're not really understanding. And one of the things I want you guys to understand is there is so much money out here. There is so much money. I, I will share some with you. The other day when I did my live stream and I announced the corporate papers, I made $40,000 in one day. $40,000 in one day. In a pandemic. With all this stuff going on. So I already know that the corporate papers will do well. I already know this. And once again, there is so much money out here. And this is something that I normally do. I wake up in the morning and I ask, my, I ask this question. Who is walking around with my money in their pocket? And then I go ahead and do something so I can get my money out of their pocket into my pocket. Because there's so much money out here. I have a goal. I've never set a goal like this before. And I'm going to hit it. I'm not, I'll, I'll share it after I hit it. I have a goal because... One of the things that you guys have got to understand is um, time is of the essence. I'm about to go in a few places here, so keep up with me. You're consistently seeing that you can invest and get rich. And you can, but it's going to take a very long, long time. I'm talking about three to four decades. You will hear people who are like, I can invest for 10 years and I can become a millionaire. If you're making 500,000 a year and you invest 200K, yeah, yeah, you can do that in 10 years. But if you're making 30, nope. You're making 50, nope. You're making 100, no. You can't even invest enough money to become a millionaire in 10 years making 100K. Fact check me on that. Let's say you put $30,000 away a year, 30,000, which is a lot of money, right? And you do that for 10 years. Your principal contributions are only 300,000. You're not gonna gain $700,000 in compound interest in 10 years. Now, if you did that for 25 years, yeah. But once again, how long have I been an entrepreneur? I started at 32. I'm 54. 
I've been an entrepreneur for 22 years. 25 years is a very long, long, long time. Long, 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 long time. And everyone is hyping you up and all this other stuff. I will not speak on options because I don't know anything about trading. So I'm not going to speak on that. You know, all I do know about trading is that many people who try to trade options traded and there's YouTube channels that will testify this have lost their asses. But you, you got to go ahead and position yourself to win. You got to become qualified. You got to take out some of these opportunities because, man, there's so many opportunities. Because I'm, I'm, I'm gonna let y'all, I'm gonna hip you to a little bit of my plan. After I get this car rental business sorted out, I'm going to create another business. Why am I doing this? In the corporate papers, I want to give you guys real life information and training. And if I'm not doing it, I can't give you that. So I, once again, because I feel that I'm almost at 750, 800 bucks a day. Because essentially once I get all my cars back, because I have two, I have three cars in the shop. Actually, I have four cars in the shop. One in there, um, is simple. I'll get that back tomorrow. So I have three cars in the shop. Yes, I got the Mini, the Acura, and a, a BMW. I got three cars in the shop. And then everything else is here. And once I get that BMW back and unsnooze it, it'll be gone just like that. And I bought another BMW today. I'm going to put it on the platform today. Tonight, I'm going to get a GPS kill switch tomorrow. And that sucker will probably be rented out Friday. So um, one of the things that I'm learning, because, you know, essentially my goal is to be doing between all my businesses like $10,000 a day. That's my goal, to be doing between all of my businesses $10,000 a day. Uh, I was almost doing that with the online course business, and then things kind of slowed down. But the car rental business, I feel that I am um, probably I feel that I'm probably 10 cars away from a 1200 to 1500 dollar per day in the car rental business. Now why is that important? One of the reasons I'm pushing so hard and I'm trying to scale so quickly is I want to get to that $1,500 a day. Why? $1,500 a day, that's $15,000 every 10 days. That's $45,000 per month. What happens is, because I've been calculating some, the worst repair that I had was um, $3,500 and it was the mini. So at $1,500 a day, it takes me two days to come out of that. Two days. And then essentially by December, I want to be at $2,500 per day. $2,500 per day. So at that point, if I have a $2,000 repair, one day I got my money back and I got a little profit. And this is, this, this is one of the things I want to teach you guys because so many of you are seduced by these fake ask YouTubers that you can start a business and you can chill and you're not going to go into any stress and no struggle and it's going to be so easy. It's going to be so easy. And when you see the hell that I'm going through, you're like, man, I don't know about that. Because there's them and there's me. I'm telling you the truth. I'm selling courses telling you the truth. It's going to be hard. It's going to be difficult. It's going to be challenging. I ain't lying to you to sell you a course. Because if I was to lie, I would make way more money. If I was to just be like, eh, it's so simple. It's so easy. You ain't got to worry about it, man. It's so simple. It's so easy. But the reality is that 
Starting a business is a challenge. And this is what I was telling this young man who's an Uber driver. I said, stick with it, stick with it. It's gonna be hard in the beginning. It's gonna be messed up. A lot of things are gonna go wrong. You're gonna make mistakes. But in the end, it will be worth it. And that's what I'm telling you. It will be worth it. It will be so worth it. Once again, I want you guys to understand that these times are very strange times. And if you take initiative and you start your business, I don't, I don't, you can start a cleaning business. You can start an apparel business. I don't really care whatever you do. You want to know why? Because so many people have checked out. So many people have moved over to the consumer side. And the number of producers, the number of action takers, the number of workers is really, really small. So like I said, if you buckle down for the next three years, your life can be amazing. It can be amazing. So that's all I got for you guys. And if you want to be part of the corporate papers where I'm going to teach you how to set up your corporation, how to do certain things, and I'm probably going to do a pre-sale because essentially this week, every morning, I've had to do something with the car rental business. And that's the time that I like to create my content. Tomorrow, I don't have anything that's happening in the morning. So uh, I got a link below where you can get in on the pre-sale. Once again, it's 2500 bucks for the pre-sale. And payment, If you don't get a discount for the payments. I'm not, I'm a good guy, but I'm not a prince because I'm not gonna give you a discount to give me money over time. I will give you a discount if you pay up at once. So 2,500 and I'm probably gonna move that to 3,000 the end of the month. So you better jump on it and the link is below. So with that, I will talk to you guys later.